Would you go on a four-day expedition through some of the largest caves in Vietnam? Let me show you what it's like, and you can decide for yourself. To kick off the day, you're going to pack up all your stuff and then grab a quick breakfast before the briefing. Then, if the details sound good, you sign your life away and then pack up all the equipment you need for the four-day journey ahead. The first leg of the trip involves a lot of trekking. Now, this is going to involve befriending a few cows and also crossing a couple rivers as well. After a few hours, you'll stop in the mouth of a cave for some lunch and then explore the insides after. Once you wrap up with that cave, there's definitely more trekking to do, but you'll eventually get to the camps that you're staying in tonight. But listen, you're not quite done yet. You just dropped off your gear and it's time to head into the next cave. Now this is where it gets spicy. To get around the cave, you're gonna have to do a few hundred meters of swimming. But if you wanna get out, you're gonna have to squeeze through this tiny hole with water running. It gets a little claustrophobic, but if you keep moving forward, you'll eventually find the exit. If you make it out alive, well done. Hang up your clothes and have some nice ginger tea to celebrate. Now, you get a few hours to just kick back and relax at the campsite while you wait for this traditional Vietnamese feast. When dinner's wrapped up, you'll waddle back to your tent. Because it's time to get some rest before the busy day coming up tomorrow. So I'll ask you again.